Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Robbie at Bang for Your Buck RC Reviews. Thank you for joining me today. I have a topic I'd like to bring up, if uh, you guys don't mind. Um, so many videos and stuff, so many uh, uh, RC enthusiasts, you know, one of the first things they do sometimes, even before they get a car, is make plans to go brushless. And I'm guilty of it. I've done it. Um, but what's wrong with just keeping the stock motors uh, and keeping things pretty much stock the way they come? Is there anything wrong with doing that? I don't think so. And some vehicles are deserving of keeping those brush motors for as long as they possibly can. Uh, and just giving you uh, what they got the best of what they got for as long as they can those brush cans uh, especially in the 540 550 segment those brush motors are pretty tough the ones that they make today and uh, I got a three summary right here of vehicles with uh, 540 motors and they all have some things that I have done some tweaking to these uh, they all have 540 motors they all are desert buggy or truck related and uh, let's check them out yes yeah, so here's one of them this is no stranger to the channel this uh, WL toys 12402 I believe is the numbers that uh, coincide with this uh, this is the uh, desert racing truck the D7 uh, I just got this earlier this year <laughs> and I tell you this is one of my favorite uh, trucks of all time um, as you can see here I have added some different tires onto it and uh, uh, I'll be talking about where those tires came from very shortly uh, but anyway I felt that uh, this truck right here was deserving of a few upgrades uh but not a new brushless system yet i'm gonna keep running the 550 or the 540 i should say motor in this just because it's really that good the motor is quick it's responsive gets this buggy going does wheelies in the grass just a real fun motor you know it's probably a 20 mile and well i think uh I think uh, when I had tested this in the winter time, uh, it was like uh, 18 miles an hour. So it's an 18 to 20 mile an hour uh, vehicle. And to me, for this kind of vehicle right here, it is plenty of fun. It does have a wheelie bar uh, that came with it and I had broken that and fixed it. Uh, so the wheelie bar is fixed. And I'm not sure if you guys can see in there, I added oil filled shocks. These are 110 millimeter shocks all the way around. And boy, let me tell you what a difference it makes. Putting some oil shocks in to this little beast right here. Uh, a couple other upgrades I did to this is I added uh, LED lights in the front. And that is it. And so I am gonna keep this with its 540 can motor uh, for a while longer. I do, I was a guilty one. I do have some five, uh, 550 size, uh, 550 can brush motors uh, downstairs waiting to put into these things, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm not in a hurry to do it. So uh, just because this car, uh, or buggy or truck whatever you want to call it is that much fun so moving on to the next one here and you'll see that you recognize this as this has been on the channel before and as a matter of fact this one has faced off against this one and uh, yeah a couple little things that uh, you might recognize on this vehicle are that 
this vehicle is now wearing the old wheels from this vehicle. Hmm, suspicious, isn't it? Yeah, and they look, I think they look a lot better on this vehicle than they do on this vehicle. So, uh, I found another tire to match uh, in the back for a spare. Uh, it doesn't have the same wheels, but the uh, tire size is exactly the same. Uh, this does have a 540 motor that it comes with that's brushed. And this buggy is fun enough that I can definitely say it is... It's just about on par speed-wise with this one. Um, this thing is a, is a hoot to drive, man. It's a, a lot of fun. And it was, uh, I think, Evan over at Derby City RC that said, geez, you got to put big, bigger tires. He just recommended putting bigger tires on this 2995 from HPX. And uh, he was right. I think the bigger tires definitely make a difference. Although these tires are not foam-filled. Um... It still handles so much better, and uh, I don't have the ramps and the jumps that he has, uh, but just jumping off from the dirt piles that are around in my area and uh, sliding around in the dirt and stumps and trees and all that stuff, uh, this thing handles awesome. And another reason why it may handle better too, if you look down here, I made the worthwhile change of putting oil shocks on this although it does still bounce a little bit because I think the springs are a little heavy but uh, it is so much better than the uh, uh, than the stock suspension that it had and uh, very much a worthwhile modification but like this one I am not gonna put that brushless system that I have waiting for it downstairs in it just yet I'm gonna wait till these 540 motors uh, start to show some signs of weakness before I do it but right now these things are just a hoot uh, to run this is another one 17 uh, 19 mile an hour truck definitely fast definitely fun and a blast to drive and now we have this one right here. This is one that I had been looking for for a very long time. Uh, they stopped making it. Uh, Banggood used to carry them. Uh, AliExpress still says they carry them, but when you go to click the uh, the button on it, uh, the picture of it kind of fades off to a faint gray, and then it goes to the uh, one, two, uh, 10428 uh, the blacking line green buggy and that's the one that is available right now as well as some other incarnations of this uh, also still exist a black version uh, but it doesn't have a two-speed transmission like this one does so uh, that is a cool thing about this it does have a two-speed transmission you cannot shift it on the fly you do have to stop uh, the vehicle and then shift it and then uh, and the gear that uh, speed that you want and then move about so anyway I got this uh, from a good friend of a lot of people's on YouTube uh, JB's RC's you guys check it out uh, I bought this used yeah, yeah. from him uh, <laughs> was looking for one and I was, just, yes. was like you have no luck finding one of these things and I figured, you know, I think he had put it on his, uh, one of his giveaway lists. And uh, I was like, geez, should I ask him if he wants to sell this? And finally I just said, yeah, let's ask him. And he gave me a great deal on it. Plus he also uh, had put these brand new, well, I don't know how new they are, but uh, they're newer than the stock tires. And uh, definitely has the, uh, lockers on them and these are the super swamper tires and it's awesome this thing is a great vehicle um, really happy with it so far does have the solid axle in the back um, I believe these are really oil sprung shocks I, I think a lot of people think that they are friction 
uh, but I believe they're all sprung or they uh, all sprung I believe they are all filled and um, uh, I think you can fill them up with oil and I don't I think if this has oil in it it's kind of gone out and I haven't added anything to it but the truck is amazing I'm so glad that JB uh, gave me the opportunity to get this uh, off from him uh, for, like I said, a really, really good price. Uh, controller that this comes with, <laughs> pretty amazing. Awesome controller. It has an uh, LCD display, uh, all kinds of adjustments on there. This is your speed switch and uh, yeah, all your endpoints. And it's It's an awesome remote. It does take six AA batteries, but that's another story. And so, yeah, this is, uh, this is my newest addition to my fleet right here. And uh, again, I wanna thank JB or JB's RCs. You guys check his channel out. Uh, he has, does awesome crawling. And uh, this thing is very capable. Uh, if you go back in his videos, you'll see him crawling with this. Very, very capable uh, uh, rock racer. It does crawl and it does thump the bumps, man. So uh, this does have a, I don't wanna get off track, this does have a brushed 540 motor. And it carries this thing right along very nicely. Uh, I would say it's probably on par with the speeds of this one and this one. So uh, look at the, rock, the uh, ground clearance of this thing. Uh, the articulation is absolutely sick. It does have lock diffs in the rear and uh, limited in the front. So really cool vehicle and I'm just so happy that I uh, was able to get one. No, it wasn't brand new, but uh, JB takes good care of his stuff. He also uh, uh, sent me a couple extra servos that he had for this and uh, the original tires, which I had mentioned earlier, I put on this one and <laughs> look how well these tires go on this one, two, four, zero, two, uh, the D7. Uh, I uh, really don't know why they put those big tires on there uh, when they should have just, you know, put the really cool buggies here. You guys, uh, I'm going to make this video just basically a... Uh, uh, just a tabletop show and tell at the moment and uh, hopefully this weekend it's supposed to rain tomorrow but if it does clear up I will be bringing these out I've been trying to get some video of this and I always do it towards the end of the day when it gets dark and then uh, the videos become a little compromised so uh, I'm gonna try to the uh, first nice day I have I'm gonna try to get uh, a good video of each one of these done, uh, each one of these uh, having fun in the uh, in the ball field or in the dirt or somewhere, and uh, and hope you guys will like the video when I do upload it. But for now, guys, I am going to uh, just call it a night. Uh, low upload this video. Hope you guys like these vehicles. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you don't. Explain why in a comment uh, if you got any other ideas that we can try with these other than going brushless uh, I'd like to know about it just leave it in the comments so have a good night guys <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. wave beaver <laughs> wave idiot <laughs>